Okay, guys, so in this video, I wanna show you how to build these beautiful visually based emails. So as you can see here, um, we're on the Be Free website and Be Free is the actual platform that we've used to integrate into Next Level so that you can utilize its uh, rich features and obviously a very mature product um, and use this product inside of Next Level to build these beautiful visually based emails. So you can see here as we're looking at the screen, um, you do need some um, ability, but it's not really hard at all if you've ever used any sort of visual uh, based um, email builder or a drag and drop website builder. It works very similar in the same way. It just really blocks um, that you're dragging and dropping and then utilizing um, you know, drag and drop features to add images, text, um, so on and so forth. So you can see here, let's just watch this, um, this website and you can see how they're building everything uh, very, very fast. Obviously, this is speeded up, but it's literally just using rows, content, um, drag, dragging and dropping different elements and components and um, using that to build these types of emails. So Be Free is the actual website that we've utilized. Um, so we've taken Be Free. It's a fantastic um, email builder. And what we've done is we've integrated its features and its functionality into Next Level. So if you want to build these beautiful, um, you know, email templates that are just like that look something similar to this, it's very, very easy to do so. Again, it's literally just contents rows, guys. So you're just choosing a row um, and you, then you're literally just dropping, dragging and dropping different contents. Um, and then you're just clicking on things. I mean, that's just an image. These are just text-based, um, you know, elements. These are buttons. You know, these are more images, so on and so forth. These are more buttons. And you can build something like this very, very simple, um, very easy. And then once you've done so, it just becomes your template, right? But basically, um, what you're doing is you're going into automations and then you're going into an automation and you're choosing the email flow step. Okay, so the email flow step is obviously inside of messaging and you're choosing that that particular email flow step. Okay, and basically I'll show you one that obviously has already been created. Uh, just makes everything easier. So when you choose this email flow step, you're able to choose whether it's going to be a visual email or a um, or a text based email. Okay, so let's just start from scratch. If I go and click on email, right? and grab send email. Um, I can choose whether this is going to be a visual or a text based. So I'll show you, obviously their subject, their sender name, you know, send the email address, all that sort of stuff. But let's go to um, actual email. And when you go into the email to edit the email, you can see there's text email builder and there's also visual email builder, okay? Now for myself personally, we very rarely send a visual based email builder, okay? We very rarely send these emails that look like this. Um, but for some companies, they really like it. They want to utilize it. Okay. So um, this is obviously the visual based, um, sorry, the text based email builder. But if you click on this button, it will take you to that particular page that I showed you before, which is where you can build these beautiful email um, based builders. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to do a few things while you're here. Okay. So um, one is you can obviously save as templates. That's really important. Um, so once you're happy with it, make sure you save it as a template so you can reuse it next time, okay? Obviously, you can preview it. So let's go to this one here. And when I go into actions, I can preview it and you can have a look at it as a desktop view and also as a mobile view, okay? And see what it looks like inside of mobile. And obviously, you can see that it's um, all optimized for mobile. Um, and then obviously you can see it as a desktop view. Okay, so let's just get rid of that for now. Um, you can also just click these buttons here, which makes it a lot easier as well. Okay, um, so that's desktop, that's um, mobile. So what you wanna do as well is you wanna start with the load save template. So if we go back to that, um, the blank one, all right, you don't have to start from scratch. You can just choose one of these templates to start with, and then it gives you the bones. Um, and then once you've got the bones, it's really easy just to then put in a few images, delete a row of images, um, delete a row of, um, you know, um, text, whatever you need to do. Um, so just choose a template that's already there um, and that'll get you started. OK, now once you um, load up a template, it'll just load up here and then you can just start dragging and dropping things in. Um, 
The other thing that you also want to do, uh, once you go back, let's go back to here. Once you load up a template and then you start building it and you're happy with it, obviously, uh, once you save it under uh, save template, you can also go to um, load save templates next time. And then you'll see the, the normal templates that B3 gives you as well as the my templates, which means that these are your templates. This is where you're going to find, okay, these templates that you saved. Okay, um, and that's why you want to save in, uh, the template and then be able to reuse it. Obviously, if you click this button, it's going to go back to the text based email builder. Okay, but that's um, how you create a visual based um, email inside of Next Level. And then you can see what we've done is, is basically, let me just get rid of this. You can see what we've done is we've taken Be Free, um, which is an amazing email builder. And we've basically integrated into the flows and into the workflow and automations of Next Level so that you can actually utilize um, that visual based email um, style, but also integrate it with all of our other um, all of our other flow steps. OK, um, and that's pretty much how visual based emails work inside of Next Level. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.